welcome to the next lecture on descriptive statistics with R software. You may recall that in the earlier lecture we had a quick overview about the R software and the related information. Now, in this lecture and in the next couple of lectures, I am going to give you an idea about the basic operations or the basic mathematical operations in R software. And these are the operations which we are going to use again and again in the forthcoming lecture. So, this will be a quick introduction to the minimum basic required uh, uh, this mathematical operators and how to use them in R in this uh, uh, lecture and in the next couple of lecture. So, you can see here as soon as you start the R software, on the console you get here a sign like greater than sign. This I explained you in the earlier lecture. This is the prompt sign. This is the prompt sign on the console after which you try to write down the commands for their execution. You type the command after the prompt sign and press enter. The command will be executed. So, uh, one thing I would like to clear you here that when we are trying to assign a value to a variable. In mathematics, we always write, suppose I want to assign a value 2 to a variable say here x, then I would write here x is equal to 2. The same thing is followed in R also. Suppose I have a variable x and I want to assign here the value to x, then I would write here say x equal to 2. But before that, I would try to explain you one thing more. When this R is started, at that time the initial assignment operator was not this equality sign, but this was less than and hyphen sign. So, in the older versions of R, once we try to assign a value, I have to write less than and hyphen. For example, if I want to assign a value 40 to a variable x, then I need to write down here x less than hyphen and here 40 like this. But now in the recent versions of uh, R software, they have uh, used the equality sign. So, either I try to write down here x equal to 40 or say x less than hyphen 40, both are acceptable in the recent uh, versions of R. So, that you have to just keep in mind. So, I would try to show you here that how these things are happening and what does this mean when I say that I am trying to assign a value x equal to 40. So, suppose if I try to show you here, if I try to copy this command and I try to paste it on the R console, you can see here this is giving me, now I press here x and enter, this is giving me x equal to 40. And similarly, if I try to write down here x equal to 40 using the equality sign, then also x is giving me here 40. Or I can take here another example just to discriminate between the two. If I write x equal to 20, now if you see here, this x becomes here 20. And then once you are trying to assign a value to a variable, then there are two options. You can assign a numerical value to the variable as well as you can assign a variable to a variable also. For example, if I say here, uh, suppose I assign here x is equal to 40. And now, I say I will multiply this x by 3 and whatever is the outcome, this I will try to store in the, in say another variable here y. So, I can write down also here y is equal to x star 3. x star means, means star operator is the multiplicative sign, which I will explain you after a couple of slides also. And similarly, the minus signs is the differential operator. So, similarly, if I want to multiply x by 3 and I want to store in a variable y, I can write down here y is equal to x star 3. And similarly, in case if I want to find out the difference between x and y, that means I want to find out x minus y. And suppose I want to store the values of x minus y in say another variable say z, then I would write down here z is equal to x minus y like as here. Right. So, I can show you here on the R console that how the things are happening. So, I try to show you here suppose if I take here x equal to 20 and now I say here y is equal to 3 
into multiplied by x. So, if I show you here the value of x here is 20 and the value of here y comes out to be 20 into 3 this is 60. And suppose I try to find out the value of x minus y and I try to store it in say another variable here z. So, if I try to write down here z is equal to x minus y and if I try to see the value of z this comes out to be minus 40 that is 20 minus 60. So, you can see here this is how we are going to assign or store a value inside a variable. Now, if you try to see here there is another symbol here hash. This hash is used to indicate that the given command on the command line is only a comment. It has not to be executed. And once you write there hash and followed by whatever you want to write any command or any syntax, nothing is going to be executed and this will be taken as the comment and all mathematical operator after that will be ignored. Let us consider say x is equal to say 20 and say y equal to here 40 once again and I try to define here z is equal to x minus y which is here giving me the value minus 20 that is 20 minus 40. Now, I define here another value here see here m and I try to put here a hash sign and I try to say here hash m is equal to x minus y and you will see here there is no value here something called here m because it has not been executed this is only stored inside the R console as a comment and the comment cannot be used. Right. The use of this comment sign is this when we are trying to write down a longer program we try to explain the features and the names of the variable inside the program so that after some time when we have forgotten about it uh, by looking at these comments I can recall what was the meaning of x, what was the meaning of y or say what was the meaning of z. Now, next aspect. A very important point in using R is this, there is a difference in the use of small letters alphabets and capital letter alphabets. For example, in case if I try to use here a small x say equal to 40 and if I try to write down here x capital X is equal to 40 then these two are different. Right, I can show you here with an example on the arc console itself. For example, if I am trying to use here some command here say x is equal to here 40. Now, you can see here the value of x stored here is 40. But now, in case if I say here capital X capital x is equal to here 70, then once I say here capital X this will give me here the 70 and if I try to recall the value of small x this is 40. And even I can find out the value of here x minus small x means capital X minus small x this will come out to be 70 minus 40 this is 30. So, you can see here that this small letter and capital letter alphabets have different types of interpretation and uh, here this is the screenshot of the same thing which I have done here, but yeah I mean I have used here a different values, but that is the same thing here. Right, okay. Now, another thing in statistics is that you will always be dealing with the data that is why you are doing your computation. So, in a statistics uh, uh, and uh, in using R whenever we want to input the data I always have to write here uh, letter C. Suppose I want to write down the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 then I need to input the data in R by writing here C a small c not capital C and then 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 that means all the values are separated by a comma operator. And in case if you do not uh, use the C command here then it will give you different types of trouble. For example, I can show you here it on the R console here. Now, let me choose here x is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3. Now, you will see here it is giving me an error. But in case if I try to use here x is equal to c inside the bracket 1 comma 2 comma 3 and bracket close then it is giving me here x as here 1 2 3. Right, okay. So, always remember to give the 
values of the data using the C operator. Okay. Now, I will come to the basic operation that in case if you want to do the addition, then the operator here is plus sign, the usual mathematical sign you have to use the plus operator here. For example, first I will try to show you the outcome and then I will show you on the R console also. Suppose if I want to add 5 and 3, then I simply have to give here 5 and 3 and then here the operator plus. So, I simply have to type here 5 plus 3 and this will give me here the value 8. So, this is the screenshot and similarly if you want to multiply 5 and 3 then you have to write the 5 multiplied by 3. So, the multiplication operator here is the star. So, I will simply write it here 5 star 3 and this will give me here a value here 15 and this is here the screenshot. So, similarly if you want to subtract two values the mathematical operator is the same that is uh, so this subtraction sign hyphen and if I want to subtract uh, uh, 5 and 3 then I have to write here 5 minus 3 in the same way as we do in the usual mathematics and this will give me the value here 2 and this is here the screenshot and uh, in case if I want to uh, use the division then the division operator is backslash and uh, in case if I want to divide uh, 5 by 2, then I simply have to write down here 5 divided by 2 and you can see here the answer will come out to be 2.5 and this is here the screenshot of the operator. And uh, similarly, in case if I want to write down here 3 square, right. So, in case if I want to write down here 3 square, then now I have here two options. I can write down here say 3 say here hat 2 or I can write down here 3 double star 2. So, you can see here I have used here two command this and this here to indicate the same value 3 square. So, whenever you want to write any mathematical expression related to the power then I have two option one is to use the hat sign and the other thing is to use the double star sign and 3 square in both the case will give us 9 and these are the two operations here which uh, I will show you very soon. And similarly, uh, when, sir, once you are trying to give the power, uh, this power can be an integer or it can be a fraction value for also. For example, in case if I want to uh, find out the value of a square root of 3, so square root of 3 is only 3 raised to the power of 1 by 2 which is equal to a 3 0 point. Uh, 3 raised to the power of 0 0.5. So, I can write down this value here as say 3 hat 0 0.5 or 3 star star 0 0.5 which I have done here and you can see here in both the cases the values are coming out to be 1.73 and this is and these two are the screenshot which have been obtained after this execution. And uh, similarly in case if you want to find out the value of 1 upon a square root of 3. So, this is going to be 3 raised to the power of minus 1 upon 2, this is 3 raised to the power of minus 0 0.5 and it can be written either by using the hat sign or by using the double star sign. For example, here I have written this thing and here you can see here this is the screenshot here. And uh, uh, yeah, in case if you have more than one operators at the same time, suppose you are trying to use here the plus sign, minus sign, uh, multiplication sign, division sign, then using uh, the same rule what we have the board mass rule, the same board mass rule is, uh, is applicable in case of our software also. So, for example, uh, now I would try to show you all these things over the R console here, so that you have some confidence here. For example, I can use here x equal to here say here 5, y is equal to here say here 10. So, now in case if I want to add it, I can write down here x plus y is equal to 15 or in case if you want to write down here directly say 5 plus say here 10, it will also give me the value here 15. So, Similarly, in case if I want to subtract it, say 10 minus 5, so 10 minus 5 will be here, see here, you can see here 5 and suppose if I uh, give here the value here also y minus here x, so this will also be here 5. 
And similarly, in case if I want to multiply it 10 and 5, so I have to write down here 10 star 5 and uh, this will give me the value here 50. And similarly, if I want to multiply x and y which are taking the same values, this will again give me the value 50. Now, in case if I want to divide uh, 10 by 5, so I have to write down 10 backslash 5 and it will give me the value here 2. And similarly, if I want to write down here y divided by here x, this will again give me the value here 2. And uh, similarly, I clear this screen by pressing control L and uh, suppose I want to find out the square root of 2, then I have to give it here say here 2, say here hat 0 0.5. So, this will give me here 1.414214 and similarly in case if I want to find out the value of 1 upon a square root of 2, then I have to give here the value here 2 hat minus 0 0.5 and this will give me the value of here 1 upon a square root of 2. And similarly, if you want to find out here the value of 2 cube, then I have two options here. I can write down here 2 hat 3, this will give me here the value here 8 and similarly, if I write down here 2 star star 3, this will also give me the value here 8, right. And similarly, in case if I have here any other mathematical operator like as 9 plus 4 minus 5 hat 8 multiplied by 3 divided by here 7. So, this is again the value which is using on the rule of baud mass. So, these are very simple operators, but definitely before we go into the statistical part, you need to practice them so that you are more conversant. So, I would request you, you please practice them and I will see you in the next lecture. Till then, goodbye.